Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to MIBT Media, MIBTonline.com. This is our weekly meeting for Wednesday. Uh, let's see, what's the date today? It's the August, or it's August 29th. Believe it or not, we're already through August, and it's pretty crazy how fast we've already, most uh, states have already had week one, high school, college kind of started last week, but it's, it's getting going this week, and then the NFL, and then before you know it, we'll be in high school playoffs. So we're going to get going. Um, we're going to start out with our, our play of the week that we had last week, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run the play again, and then we'll, we'll run around to the panel here real quick, and if we can go, we can go wide on it. Um, so if you remember the play, the play was we had the potential targeting by the runner. So here it is. It's kind of slow, and, and now you're seeing it come up, and boom, and they're going to get a replay of this. So let's go to the replay here, and we'll see right now. Boom, there it is. All right, so I'm going to the poll from Twitter. Our poll from Twitter said 41%. There was only about 32 people that voted. 41% said that this was a targeting by the runner. 19% said it was spearing. 34% said legal play. And 6% said targeting by the defense. So kind of across the board here, there was really no clear-cut winner uh, on this particular poll. So I'm going to start with uh, Robert on this one. Robert, after looking at the play, and seeing what the runner did, would you have targeting on the runner or maybe something else? And I'm going to give you a direct answer, and I do not have targeting on the runner. I do not. That's a football play. In fact, uh, you know, it, it kind of opens my eyes when you see the results of those participating on uh, voting, why this is important to discuss. Let's answer your question directly. I do not have a foul on this play. I mean, I could see your point, Robert. I mean, uh, Bill, what do you what do you have on this? Like Robert, no, no targeting. I, um, you know, I know the NFL has a has a rule for the runner dipping his head. Um, NCAA has not excluded the runner, but in the history of the targeting rule, I don't believe a runner has been called for targeting since the rule's been put into effect. Runners are going to naturally dip their head. It's a, it's a protective reactive move by a runner. Uh, he's not trying to drive through this guy's middle of this guy's chest. He's trying to gain some extra yards. Anybody who's carrying a football and has a defender approach him like in this play, you're going to dip down. Um, it's a natural move. I, I'm all for the safety of the game, but if we're going to take it this far, we need to play flag football or touch football. Mike, what, what did you have on this one? I agree. This will be a pioneer call to call targeting on the runner. Um, even when I slowed it down and I switched the speed to half speed, I looked at it again and again. I still see um, the compression by the runner, not leading with the head by the runner. Um, I see primary contact as well to the shoulder of the defender who also compressed and got in the way of the runner. And I don't see any re way that the uh, runner could have avoided that contact. My take on it is that I don't, want, I, don't, I don't want this called. I don't want this to be a targeting call. But where we start running into um, semantics, you know, and anytime we use the word, well, technically, that usually means that we're, we're about to say something that's not 100% correct, at least in regards to philosophy. But if you go by the definition of targeting in the high school book, you know, does, you know, remember there's, there's different codes, different rules. High school targeting is, you know, contact initiated with their op opponent above the header, you know, to the head or neck area, above the shoulders, really. So it kind of goes, well, do we need to call this because we have a rule that says that's what it is? Or from a philosophy standpoint, are we going to say this type of contact is incidental even if, I mean, I like Bill's example of the runner was just doing a natural protection of themselves by dipping. They weren't necessarily committing an intentional act. So we're not going to penalize for that. But I guess... I guess, you know, real quick, though, I want to make sure that 
some of the people said spearing. Remember, you know, spearing actually is below the shoulder. It says that by definition. So it definitely can't be spearing. Now, targeting by the defense, it doesn't look like the defense was initiating the contact here. So I don't, I would definitely not go that. If it was anything, it would have been targeting by the runner. But to go to Mike's point, I also believe that it would be a, uh, a pioneer call. So, uh, you know, that's one of those where I don't want to be the first one to make this call on a runner. So we're about out of time here. So we're going to go to our play of the week. So this is our MIBT online play of the week. We'll have the poll on Twitter like we do every week. Last week, we only had about 32 people. Get the word out. Let's get some more people uh, taking the, the poll and, and getting everybody's opinion on our play. Our next week's topic is going to be uh, uh, pass interference, defensive pass interference, offensive pass interference, PI, pass interference. We're going to talk a little bit about that. So um, I invite everybody to check that out. But to get us ready for that, we did have one earlier, but that was one of our plays that were sent in. And by the way, like I said, send me your plays. I'd love to see them. We'd love to break them down. We'd love to talk about them. We spent the first half an hour talking about plays uh, that have happened during the week. We'd love more plays. So send them to us, and then we can, everybody can, you kind of hear what everybody thinks about them. So on this play, this is a potential pass interference. It's going to occur on the right side. You're only going to get one view of it. It's going to be from the, uh, from the back, but uh, from the end zone shot, but it's probably the best view. And you're going to get two views, or you're going to get two speeds. You're going to get regular speed, and then you're going to get, you're going to, going to get um, a slow motion. Here it is. It's a play. We've got a potential pass interference. So I'll play it again. We'll play it one more time. And here it goes again. So here, you're, I want you to think about this. We've got a potential interference situation. So you're looking at it right here. What's going on? All right, so this is, here's our, here's our question, obviously. Is this pass interference, is this A, is this defensive pass interference, is this B, offensive pass interference, C, is the ball uncatchable, so we've got nothing, so uncatchable equals nothing, or D, it's, it's just nothing. So those are going to be your four choices this week on our MIBT online play of the week poll question. It's uh, at officially speak is our Twitter. So go check it out there. You can uh, answer the question and we hope to discuss this next week with our panel as to what exactly we have.